Hello again everybody, welcome back to uh, Mix Lakeside Railway. A um, couple of things is uh, I've now topped the 5,000, the last video seems to have done the job and I've now gone up to over the 5,000 subscribers so thanks everybody that's been subscribing and doing the channels. Uh, also, um, since last time, bought uh, another purchase, another three locos and 21 wagons this now is top my um, total number of wagons now um, is a thousand um, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to cut down buying them I'm just running out of storage space but it always seems to be something come along that you think oh, I'll, have a, I'll have a few of those but anyway yeah thousand wagons now so plenty of rolling stock to go um, I've been asked before about spraying weathering so what I'm going to do on this video is one uh, one clip is to show you the the high tech uh, spray booth, and I'll show you a little bit on what I've done on the weathering. So, thanks everyone again. Uh, this is video 103. Um, please keep watching, subscribing, and keep those comments coming. And um, let's get on with it and enjoy. Audio guys. Right, I've been asked before where I've done, where I've done my uh, spraying and this is my high-tech spray booth. Cardboard box, hole cut out and with the Henry Uber running into the back I've got my face mask, there's my Henry compressor and with the window open this is where I do all my spraying. Don't always use the um, turntable. I just put them on the box. And that's it. Yeah. So get my gloves on. Put my face mask on. Turn the Uber on. And this is my spray booth. I've done my repaints on this. So, um, yeah. High tech. Righto, guys. Let's carry on with the video. Right. This is the area where I do my spraying. I normally have a box with, an, with the Uber stuck into it to take all the fumes out. But this is my setup at the moment. I've got the Henry setup. I'll put that on. You'll hear that going. And then, so I've, I've used this to do all my wagons or locos. And um, so I made a, a spray booth up just using a cardboard box, putting the Uber in through the back. But this time, I'm just going to do it this way. I can't be bothered to set the box up. I've got my mask on. So, the Uber goes on. Right, the Uber's on there to take any, any fumes away. I've got the window open. So, I'll show you a bit of spraying. Got me a buzzer air brush. And that's how I do all my spraying. I've even done my repainted locos over here. So, just I thought I'd show you a little quick bit what I do. I've been asked before to show a bit of weathering. So, this is how I do it. I've got these lots to go. Right, let's carry on, guys, with the video. Right, what I'm going to do on this is I've purchased a, a Salter Wayne Scales. What I'm going to do, I'm going to weigh the Cure Scale Class 92, the Deltic 55, um, the Hatton's Class 66, and the Hatton's Bayer Garrett. And then I'm going to see whether they will all pull the 3.5 kilo container train. So, what I'm going to try the Deltic first of all, I've put small pad 
sponge pad on the top first of all that doesn't that's showing that doesn't weigh anything at the most it'll probably weigh a gram so i've put the deltic on a piece of track which weighs 24 grams the track and we're coming up with seven seven hundred and ninety four grams all told so take the 24 off we've got 770 for the deltic right take the deltic off I'll now try the Hattons Right, the Hattons comes in with the track 792, so that's 768. Right, let's try the Acura Scale 92. Right, the Acura Scal 92 is coming in at 708. So we're taking off 24 from that. So I make that 684. Right. Now we we'll go with the Bayer Garrett. Right, the Bayer Garrett, that's coming in at 751. Taking off of that, that's 727. So, the Deltic, the Cure Scale Deltic is actually heavier than the Hatton 66. And the Bayer Garrett then comes in at 727. So, the lightest of all the four is the 92. That manages to pull the container train. Bit of wheel slip if I pull it away from the signal. But, once it's rolling it will pull all round around all round the layout so let's see how these locos will pull the container train Right, new loco, another Hatton 66, had to do the same work on the uh, bogies, had a couple of actual boxes fall off, and these are Daffle Talbot wagons, and JNAs, all Daffle, and I've weathered all of this, locos had a slight weathering, plus all the wagons, they were just a little bit too yellow, but 
I gave them a web enemy little boost and come out very well. Right, I've hooked the Delta up. Let's give it a give it a go and see how we pull away. No problem whatsoever. Number one, number two, and away we go. Right, the night the 55, the Cure Scale Delta, very powerful. Pulls this, no trouble whatsoever. Right, I think that's proved the point on that one. Let's try another one. Right, let's try another one. Right, this was a, another purchase. Two out of the three. Uh, another Acura Scale 92 Caledonian Blue. I like the, I do like this, but you can't you can't order all of them at once. So this will be my fourth one, this will probably be my last one as well. And I've got a crew for it, but I'm not going to take the top off or anything yet until MIDI coder comes. Um, I'm going to order that from Roads and Rails. That's where I had the, uh, my um, DB Schenker from. And uh, now it's very good, very good sound. So 
yeah I've bought this ready for the rerun of the um, Mark 5's Caledonian sleepers so I didn't order them the first time around they didn't appeal to me but after seeing this especially on YouTube with this loco I thought well I'm going to get this now in case they don't do a rerun of it and I've got it already on show and then um, I'm just going to order a set of the Caledonia Mark 5's when they um, do a rerun of them so right that's loco number number two right so this is one of the purchases I said in a few videos back I wanted another Garrett and while I was up the club a friend up there who buys and sells had this for, for selling and got it well at a real good price and I do like the Garrett's they do look nice big and meaty and this has got a tremendous pulling power so I will do a little bit of weathering on it I painted up the wheels already in a grey because I thought they just looked too plasticky they didn't paint them they were just made of a coloured plastic so no I've redone them so that was that's is one of the locos I've put a, a crew of three inside this so yep well pleased with that right let's show you the next one right got the garret hooked up uh, normal decoder in this at the moment i did have a sound decoder for it but there was a sh there was a bare wire on the light inside it which caused the decoder to shorten out so that's gone back to hell's models they do a good sound for the bayer garrett that's what i've got in the other one so i've just got a normal decoder in this just to um see whether this is going to pull this or not so let's move on yep there we go no trouble at all plenty of power in a garret excellent all right let's move on Excellent. What a train. Well, that's another loco, festine loco that can pull this.
Right, I'll move this forward. This is fitted with Model U crew. This is a first wagon to the Talbots. Done weathering all under on the bottoms of these. All filled with the tea leaves to represent soil. And at the back is the JNA. Again, weathered these lovely, filled with ballast. And in the back one, I've also fitted a rear train lamp and then managed to cover it with the ballast so you can't see none of the, uh, the workings. Fitted with a, a Railtech flashing unit at the back using a DCC Concepts lamp. So we'll see this going round. quite impressive Right, and this is loco number three. Another Hatton's 66, and I say this was another purchase from a uh, chap up the club, and I got this for a hundred pounds. Uh, one axle box was off in the box, and one came off when I did a test. So I did the same as I've done with the others, and that was take the bogey frames off and, and the axle boxes them out cut the plastic off behind the frames and put it all back together again so yeah well please mint condition is I've done a little bit of weathering I've done weathering on the exhaust and I've done a bit of weathering on the bottoms at the front and back and obviously on the side bogey frames that's all I'm gonna do so yeah I've weathered this and also the coaches these are the turbot wagons dapples couplings couplings on them were absolute rubbish they were nem couplings but they they were big and it gave a gap between the buffers in real in real life obviously probably of about three foot or four foot they look ridiculous so these have got screw link couplings on free chain screw links they pull good they reverse up they don't jump off or catch the buffers only I found with the NEM couplings 
I tried to put short ones on and all it did it lifted the back the back the inner wheels of the bogies and then obviously that caused them to derail so that um, I'll move you over a minute on the back where the NJA's mic um, connect up I've used an Acura scale magnetic couplings let me show you yeah Acura scale magnetic couplings as soon as you touch them lovely and these are the um, network rail wagons so I've given them a nice little bit of weathering take that bright yellow down so rusted the inside filled them with ballast and on the back is a end of tail train lamp so yeah really good I'll show you that lamp this again I'm using the, the train tronics little module where the battery goes in goes inside it don't have to have a switch on them at all once the train moves the light flashes and after about a minute of the train sitting still it automatically goes out I've used that a few on these when it's awkward to pick the power up from the bogies but I've used the DCC concepts rear light so that's the three locos and the 21 wagons that's now give my total of running stock on the freight a thousand wagons now I'm really finding uh, trouble for storage now so yeah another train for you Peter to have a look at I know you, uh, you always mention the uh, the uh, pro typical trains that I run and um, thanks for the shout out and uh, hope to see you soon bye
now, Peter, answer to your question whether I had any uh, Backman hoppers. <laughs> 